Good day learners! Today, I will teach you the two methods when it comes to reducing fractions into lowest terms. But first, you have to remember that you need to practice it for you to become a pro. So, parang naglalaro lang tayo ng favorite mobile lessons na kapag gusto natin maging mythic, kailangan natin mag-practice. So, learners, watch, listen, and understand. Again, I am going to teach you the methods on reducing fractions into lowest term. But first, let us define what is lowest term. Fraction is in lowest term if the numerator and denominator are in relatively prime, meaning no factors other than one. Examples, one half, two third, one fourth, and so on. Let us start with our first method. In this method, we will be using prime factors to reduce fraction into lowest term. Here are the three steps to remember. Number one, get the prime factors of the numerator and denominator. Number two, cancel the common factors. And number three, multiply the remaining factors. Before we proceed to our example, let us recall what is a prime factor or prime factors. Prime factors are factors of a number that are prime numbers. And what is a prime number or prime numbers? Prime numbers are numbers that have only two factors, one and themselves. The examples are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. Since we are done recalling what are prime factors and prime numbers, let us take this example. Example number 1, let us find the lowest term of 4 tenths or 4 over 10. Step 1, get the prime factors of the numerator and denominator. So what is or what are the prime factors of 4 and 10? 4 prime factors, 2 times 2. 10 prime factors, 2 times 5. Second step, Cancel the common factors. What is the common factors of 4 and 10? The common factors of 4 and 10 is 2. So cancel 2. Third step, multiply the remaining factors. But here in our example, the remaining factor of our numerator is 2. And the remaining factor of our denominator is 5. So the final answer or the lowest term is 2 fifths. Same process with our example number 2. Let us find the lowest term of 12 over 18. Step 1. Get the prime factors of our numerator and denominator. So, the prime factors of 12 are 2 times 2 times 3. And the prime factors of our denominator, which is 18, are 2 times 3 times 3. Step 2, cancel the common factors. As you can see in our example number 2, there are two common factors of our numerator and denominator. And those are 2 and 3. So cancel 2 and 3. Step 3, 
multiply the remaining factors or just write the remaining factors. The remaining factor in our numerator is 2. So we just write 2. The remaining factors of 18 is 3. So let us write 3. So now the lowest term of 12 over 18 is 2 thirds. Let us proceed to our second method. In this method, it is close alike when we are getting the prime factors of our numerator and denominator. But here, we only need the greatest common factor. Those cancelled factors in method 1 is actually the greatest common factor of the numerator and denominator. Let us move to our example number one. Example number one. Let us reduce the given fraction, which is 25 over 50, into lowest term. Like what I have said, we will be needing the GCF. So the GCF of 25 and 50 is 25. Divide the numerator and denominator by the GCF, which is 25. 25 divided by 25 is equal to 1. 50 divided by 25 is equal to 2. So the final answer or the lowest term is 1 half. Example number 2. Find the lowest term of 30 over 70. The GCF of 30 and 70 is 10. So we will divide 30 and 70 by 10. 30 divided by 10 is equal to 3. 70 divided by 10 is equal to 7. So the lowest term of 30 over 70 is 3 7. That's all for today. Always remember, to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. Thank you and goodbye.